In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how I use an iPhone and Photoshop to project student work. So regardless of subject area, students spend much of their day writing in isolation and a student notebook. This method of sharing student work is a great way to provide feedback, offer classmates a chance for analysis, and to motivate. Students love seeing their work projected. So what might this look like in a math class? First of all, as its teacher, you're going to walk around the room with your iPod or iPhone and snap photos of student work. Then you're going to project it on the screen and then using Photoshop, you're going to create contrast and zoom in. Students love it. You're going to find that this method will really enhance comprehension and hopefully boost uh, test scores. So how does this work? What do I need and what do I need to know? You're going to need an iPod, smartphone, iPhone for instance. Photoshop and a digital projector. And then when you're in Photoshop, you're going to need to know four things. You're going to have to click File, then Open to open up the image. You're going to click the hand tool. That's going to move the image around a little bit when you're zoomed in. You're going to press Control L to adjust contrast. And then to zoom, you're going to hold Alt and roll the mouse wheel if you're using a mouse. And if not, I can show you an alternative method. So let's jump into this. On your desktop, you're going to look for Photoshop, and here you can see it's this blue icon. And when you open it up, you're going to then need to open up your image. To do that, you're going to click on File, and then Open. And then you're going to identify your image, and here's mine. This is student work from an algebra class from this past spring. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on the Hand tool, and you're going to see why that's important in just a minute. Next, what we're going to do is create contrast, because we can see that this is a pretty great image, pretty washed out. To do that, we're going to press Control and then L. I'm going to hold Control and press L. And then in this window, we're going to drag this black triangle to the right. And what that does is it makes the darks a little bit darker. And we're going to drag the white triangle to the left. And that makes the lights lighter. The middle triangle adjusts midtones. You don't really have to worry about that a whole lot. When you're done, you're going to press OK. And that looks significantly better bef than before. We can see. There we go, that looks much, much better. Next, if we hold Alt and roll the mouse wheel, we can zoom in, and because we're the using the uh, hand tool, because it's been selected, we can then move around the image. Hold Alt and roll the mouse wheel down, and we can zoom in and out. If you're not using a mouse, if you're on a laptop, for instance, simply click the Zoom tool, it's right beneath the hand tool, and when you do, you can just click once, and it'll zoom in on the specific area that you want. And if you want to zoom out, hold Alt, and you can see that the zoom tool creates a sort of like negative symbol in the interior, and you can zoom out all the way. So this is a great way to zoom in and out. Let's do this one more time really quickly. So you're going to walk around the room. You're going to be snapping photos. You're going to send them to your email. So here's uh, some student work from an English class, also from, I think, May of 2013. I'm going to right click the image, I'm going to click Save Image As, and I'll save it as Chris Comic. I can see this has just been downloaded, so I'm going to go to Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to minimize this window. We can have multiple images open in Photoshop. I'm going to go to File Open. I'm going to find the Chris Comic. There we go. And this looks great, but in order for the class to see it, we're going to need to create contrast. So I'll zoom in a little bit, and now I'm going to press Control L. I'm going to drag the dark triangle to the right, the light one to the left, and there we go. I'm going to press OK. That looks much, much better. So I can see now that when I zoom in, uh, this kid is quite the artist. It's actually a really brilliant comic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions, please let me know. Good luck.